Shalom uvracha. With real great hopes and with real great understanding of the unconditional love of the Creator to His children, we're humbling ourselves in that path, walking toward great understandings that in the future to come will take place in our days. The wonders of Hashem are very, very hidden in many, many ways. And it's so complex for people like us to grasp and understand what He is planning and preparing for us. But it's like when a person he wants to fix his radio or something like that when his mind is into the details into every part of the machine he cannot see the whole picture you need to take a step back and to try to see and to realize what's going on around you in a larger way, the bigger picture. The Creator Himself, the Father of Mercy, He did not start creating the world today. The world began thousands of years ago and there was a godly plan back then and it's continuing today and to a better future tomorrow to come. Every person on earth must understand that he is here in a very great mission. And there is a great responsibility for every person to follow his own heart and to allow the Creator to lead us in that path of truth, to help us to walk in that golden path that is ready for us and leading us to a place of great prosperity and eternal success. The success of the world depends in those ones that are walking and marching in the present time. In earlier generations, the yoke and the responsibility and the success was really depend on the shoulders of the righteous ones, of our ancestors, of those people, the sages, those ones that we remember from history. But today, the responsibility is on our shoulders. The responsibility to lead the generation to a better place, to express the goodness of the Creator, to express the spiritual illumination and the deep understandings that we are experiencing in our days is in our hands and we're the ones that's supposed to do it and we're the ones that's supposed to take the next generation toward the completion and the complete correction of our actions it depends on us and we should believe in ourselves we should realize and recognize the fact that the Creator gave us the torch to illuminate the world and to shine upon our loved ones. And every person has his own role and his own mission to do that. You have your talents, you have your life experience, you have your wisdom, you have your knowledge, you have your surroundings, you have those people who depends on you. And no one else can do your job except for you. You need to allow yourself and you must count on yourself and you must recognize the beauty and the greatness of your soul and your spirit and to go and spread the word and to go and shine the world. And you should remember when Rachel, our mother, she began her life and she was the wife of Yaakov and she did this thing and that thing and she was doing amazing things. She didn't realize that she is about to become Rachel Imenu, the famous one, the mother, the holy mother, the mother of, of Yehuda, and the, uh, the uh, excuse me, the mother of uh, Yosef and the mother of Binyamin. 
She didn't know that the the the, the Bible will be written, and, and her name will 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 be written over there with such light and 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 spiritual treasure. She didn't realize the greatness of her spirit. She was. She was a mother, she was a wife, she was busy, she had things, she did them with, with a pure heart, she was amazing, she was fantastic, but she lived her life, you know? It's, it's not like she was realizing that she's now so big and so shiny. When we look at the past, when we look at her as a role model, we can see the greatness of her actions. But for her... When she lived her life, when she spent her time and her moments with her family, with her children, when she was feeding them and taking care of them, when she was cooking for her husband, all those things that took place, took place in reality. They didn't take place in the Bible. They took place in reality. Also on us, books will be written. Also on us, amazing books will be written and will describe our battles and our wars, and our efforts, and our dedication, and our love, and our honesty. We are those messengers of the light. We are those ones who are shining to the world. Light of faith, light of emunah. And we should continue, and should never judge and criticize ourselves for not being perfect. The reason you feel not perfect is because you try to compare yourself to someone else. But you are an individual creation and you're a wonderful personality and your soul is godly, is godly. Your portion of God is your soul, is your true identity, is your true self. You are the one that you are, the one that he is. And you are him and him is you. You are one. You are one. Hashem, Kutcha Berichu, that is Hashem. And the Torah, Oraita, and the nation of Israel. We're talking about millions, hundreds of millions of souls, right? And those are all one group. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Oraita, and the nation of Israel are one thing. And that triangle will never be break, will never be cut. This is one unit. The Creator, the Torah his wisdom and the nation of Israel is one piece, is one unit, is one is 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 one thing that will never break, that will never separate. And if you're asking yourself, okay, but how can I be so sure that if maybe I'm not one with Hashem, maybe I'm not one with the Torah, or maybe I'm not one with Am Israel. It does not depend on you. It it's not it's not it's not something that you can do. It's that's who you are. That's who you are. Maybe you cannot see that. Maybe you cannot realize that. Maybe you cannot feel it. Maybe you cannot sense it. It doesn't mean that that's not who you are. What do you think? You're so crazy to love Am Israel. Why do you love Am Israel if you're not one of Am Israel? Why do you love the Torah if you're not part of the Torah? Why you do? Why you love the Hakadosh Baruch Hu if you're not part of Hakadosh Baruch Hu? What? A person that loves bananas, he loves bananas because bananas they make him feel well, feel good. It it feeds him. A person that loves apples, he loves apples because apples nurtures his body, satisfies his spirit, gives him strength and power and energy. Or else you wouldn't love it. Do you love like something that you don't use? No, you don't have no connection to it. Something that does not feed you. Something that does not build you. Something that does not satisfy you. You wouldn't have no love, no connection to it. It's like, okay. Someone will tell you about something that you don't have no re relation to. Re you are not relate to that thing at all. You wouldn't care about it. But about the Torah, you care? Okay, so why? About the Kadosh Baruch Hu, you care? Okay, so why? About the nation of Israel, the Holy Land of Israel, you care? Okay, why? I'm asking you why. <laughs>
But you, you can listen to me, you can listen to me talking for hours and you, you don't get it. <laughs> I'll try again, I promise. I won't give up on you. Even if you will give up on me, God forbid, I won't give up on you. Okay? It's a done deal. I'll keep on chasing you and blaming you for being good <laughs> and holy and precious. Even if you cannot see that light, I will keep on shining that light upon you. And may Hashem answer all our prayers and all our requests in no time. Amen. Ha, ha, ha.